Hello, my name is Monica Gudin and I'll be presenting today my capstone project. I title my exhibition Agitenas, which means signatures of the gods and goddesses, and it addresses the visual symbology of the Yoruba religion in Cuba. My goal was to gather the most non-visual elements within the Iceland to create exciting and meaningful patterns. Some of the key words I used during my research were iconography, Afro-Cuban, religion, symbols, and others. The Yoruba religion is originally from Nigeria. It arrived in Cuba between the 16th and the 19th century. At that time, the island was colonized by Spain, so the original characteristics of Yoruba evolved through a process of syncretism between the traditional Yoruba religion and the Roman Catholic form of Christianity. According to the Yoruba religion, Olodumare is the universal, supreme, and omnipotent God who created everything. He has his son, Olofi. Olofi is identified as the Christ of the Catholic religion. With his powers, he created the Orishas to be in indirect contact with men. The Orishas are gods and goddesses that command the force of nature and the affairs of humanity. Some of the most popular in Cuba are Obatala, Changó, Yomaya, Ochun, and Ogun. I focused my design and research on the characteristics of each of them, not only the agitenas that they own, but also the colors that represent them and other visual symbols. The agitenas are usually used to attract the orishas. Once these signatures are drawn, using only natural objects and material. Humans have the power to invite all the strength found in heaven and earth. I took a lot of inspiration from the work of the Cuban artist Jose Manuel Mederos, who opened his house door for me during a trip I did to Cuba. Uh, and he let me photograph some of his artwork also, during my trip, I gathered some visual inspiration from an alley in La Habana, El Callejón de Hamel, filled with art created by the Afro-Cuban painter Salvador González Escalona. In my sketches, I paid close attention to the details of each symbol in order to better understand the elements that compose the agitenas. Also, I played with their, shape, their shapes and proportion so I could combine them better and make them work as a set. I narrowed down all the found information to two ajitenas for each orisha and also selected the colors that represent them. Some of these symbols are used during ceremonies that ask for health, money, security, and other. One example we have here is this uh, symbol, which is used in rituals where offrendas are made to a chun. It must be painted on a piece of silverwood uh, and this agitena is used to win over sickness and phenomena with the help of Oshun. This other example is uh, a symbol that is used in rituals where offrendas are made to Obatala. It must be painted on a piece of cedarwood and this agitena is used, used to obtain uh, from Obatala any wish that one of his children has. After the ceremony ends, the person must pray to Obatala for eight consecutive days. Uh, this one is another example. Uh, it's a symbol that is used in ritual where offerings are made to Yomaya, and it must be painted on a piece of wood. This ahitena is used to request protection from Yomaya so her children can resolve any problem they might be, they might be experiencing. Here you see the final design of the five patterns I created. The initial idea before school was closed was to carve the pattern into a wood block and then print them on fabric. I was planning to use the fat lab for it, so I only was able to make one. However, it was enough for me to create a bunch of prototypes on fabric and I also did some other print tests on cloth and paper. You'll see on the next slides a virtual view of my final work. I title each piece as the Orisha it represents. This one is for Ogun, a warrior Orisha who represents work and strength. He's a god of weapons 
and the color that represents him is green. The navy blue is for Yamaya, the queen of the sea and the source of all life. Chango is the red one. He is known as the god of war and owner of lightning. And then we have Obatala. He's the Orisha that represents health, truth, peace, and balance. And we have the yellow for Ochun. The Orisha that personifies the intensity of human feeling, love, and spirituality. Ochun is the queen of the fresh waters of the world as a spring and rivers. I wanted to go, for, uh, to go further and I thought about the different applications that I could give to my parents. These are some mock-ups I made that I thought it would be interesting to explore. Since I made them on fabric, I couldn't resist, cre resist creating some face masks with the design, design of, of a tune. Both of those ajitenas are related to rituals that people do to ask for help. I made a booklet for the exhibition with some valuable information to help the viewer understand the meaning of the ajitenas. These are uh, some promotion material uh, for the reception of the show and my bibliography. I wanted to explore this concept since my main intention was to create something that allows me to use my skills as a designer but also as, a, uh, as an artist. It is a response to my need of discovering an essential influence within the culture of my birth country and my main goal was to educate not only myself but others on the topic. Thank you for your time and I hope you have enjoyed discovering these ajitenas.